Hi everyone. Today we are looking at the Bible passage, John chapter 14, verses 15 to 21. This passage begins with a concise instruction from Jesus to his disciples. Jesus says to them, if you love me, keep my commands. But what exactly does Jesus mean by this? What is it that Jesus commands of his disciples? And how does this apply to us today? Well, there are lots of instructions and commands from Jesus, which we can see written down in the Bible. But we know that the greatest commandment is all about love. We are told to love God and to love one another. The relationship between loving Jesus and keeping his commands is not a case of prove that you love me. Rather, it is Jesus explaining how loving him loving him enables and empowers us to keep his commandments. It's a reminder that Jesus' commands are all rooted in a loving relationship, loving God and loving others. But how easy is it to follow Jesus' command to love one another? After all, we are told we should not only love our family and our friends, but we should also love those that we might not like. We are even told to love our enemies. We should offer unconditional and practical love for all, for everyone. The commands that Jesus urges us to keep are practical and everyday in nature. The current lockdown and social distancing rules have resulted in many examples of love in action and also highlighted situations crying out for love to be expressed in a practical way. Offering unconditional and practical love for all might not be easy, but in chapter 16, Jesus explains that we are not expected to do this on our own. We have the Holy Spirit as our advocate the dictionary definition of advocate is a person who publicly supports or recommends a particular cause or policy, or a person who puts a case on somebody else's behalf. The Greek word for Holy Spirit is paraclete. And let's look more closely at the first part of that word, para. We see para used in some other words like parallel when we think of parallel lines, like train tracks, they run next to each other, side by side. The para at the start of the word means beside. So the original Greek word for the Holy Spirit, paraclete, literally means the one called to our side. So this means that Jesus promises that the Spirit will always be with us right by our side. It reminds us that the Spirit will not desert us and that we're not alone, even in our hour of need. I find that really reassuring, especially at this time when we're having to remain physically distant from our friends and family. We are reminded that we are not alone, that we have not been abandoned. We are called to love our neighbours. And this doesn't just mean the people who live next door to us or down our street. We're all made in God's image, which means the whole world is our neighbourhood and every person in it is precious and loved by God. We are called to love our global neighbours. This past week has been Christian Aid Week, which is an opportunity to do just that. Through charities such as Christian Aid and the URC's Commitment for Life scheme, we are able to support our neighbours who are in great need throughout the world. This is another example of love in action. Christian Aid works with local partners in countries throughout the world, standing alongside and supporting the poor and the marginalised. In a separate video, you can hear about the work of one of Christian Aid's partners, WSA, or Women's Support Association, who work in Ethiopia to transform the lives 
of those in local communities. I share the story of Tigis Melksha, who was supported by Women's Support Association, and she shares how her life was transformed. Through their local partners, Christian Aid can offer essential practical support in times of crisis. But it doesn't just end there. Christian Aid aims to bring an end to global poverty and works to challenge the structures and systems that lead to injustice. Christian Aid is an advocate for global justice and campaigns on issues such as climate change, tax and economic justice. So, Jesus commands us to love, to love God and to love others. Love unites us all and calls us to action. Action which we can enter into with joy and confidence because we know we have a God who stands alongside us as we stand alongside others in their time of need. Wherever we go this week, let's look for examples of Jesus' commands being fulfilled and opportunity, opportunities to demonstrate love in action.